I'm going to start with you. The Tiger's Apprentice is being adapted from a popular book series. And in preparation for this role, you went back to that source material. What did you want to make sure was translated from page to screen? And what's something new that you brought to this character? Absolutely. Um, I mean, there's so many really valuable lessons and so many like, you know, golden nuggets of wisdom that I think are, I, I would love the audience to kind of take away from. But I think one of my favorite parts of the story was like, all the relationships between the characters were so sweet, you know, like the whole cast was a bunch of these people that are on the outside. It seems like they're almost like misfits or outcasts. Mm -hmm. um, they're able to find solace in each other and find power in community and the importance of family. That's all such a huge theme of the story that um, I think that really impacted me when I read the story, when I watched the movie. Um, so yeah, I think at the very least, like really appreciate, you know, what you have and really appreciate the people mm -hmm. around you not only your, your blood family, but the family that you choose too, because like, that's, that's so important. It really takes a village to, uh, you know, accomplish great things. And um, one thing that I think um, we were able to bring to the story that might not have been in the original source material was just myself, myself as Brandon Suhu. And I think that's, you know, that's the gift as an actor is I get to put a little bit of my own mm. in my own pizzazz on on a character and you know i had the honor of representing this this really awesome uh, property and um yeah it was such a privilege to kind of just insert my own little brandonisms into it um you know like ramen carlos and everyone in the the creative team was just so uh, accommodating and so um so welcoming of me to just like you know do whatever i wanted in the booth they gave me so much freedom so there was a good amount of scenes where they just kind of like let the tape roll and they said, okay, like what would Brandon do in this situation? <laughs> how, does, how does Brandon feel about, you know, his snarky remarks back to the bully? You know, like what would Brandon mutter to himself if he's like feeling a little bit anxious, you know? So they, they gave me a lot of room to just like uh, eat up their recording time. <laughs> beautifully said and Kang it's great to see you like so many endless possibilities when you're working on an animation how did that freedom push you creatively and what was it like getting to see this incredible film in its entirety for the first time I think what I really enjoyed about animation was the very close uh the collaboration that uh you get with the creators for the first time you know, from the first day that I was in the booth recording the very first line, I was part of a process that was really precious because after a few sessions, then they'll share with you something that they saw of you from the camera. And that, and then after, you know, a few sessions, they'll show you an initial sketch. And then after another few sessions, they'll show you a better sketch. And some, and they've changed the hairstyle depending on you. To grow something from nothing, to grow something from a line on a page, is something that I've always considered is a real privilege. And I think that's what makes art really magical. Something yeah. out of nothing except you know except the mind um of a person and how can everybody bring their minds together to to make it into what it is today i think a lot of times um especially uh for films or or for products for for television or people tend to just look at the final product but really so much more went into it um, mm. yeah I love that I think I have time for one really quick question for the both of you but I know I think this film does so brilliantly it, it showcases the Asian experience but in such a universal story with the film out now on Paramount Plus have each of you had time to reflect on your own contributions and knowing that for so many of these young audiences it may be the first time that they see their culture and themselves represented on screen what does this moment mean to each of you Brandon mm. man uh Sure. I mean, it means it means so much. I feel like this is definitely a story that deserves to be told. And not only is it just like a really powerful story that um, showcases so much of Asian culture, but it's just also a universal story about um, the power of overcoming hardship, the power of overcoming grief, the power of finding unity and, you know, being able to use stuff that's not um, just force, but also to be able to like overcome challenges with compassion and love. So to be able to like be a part of a a beautiful Asian story, but also such a beautiful human story is mm -hmm. such 
is such a gift, you know, to be able to put something out into the world that I'm genuinely proud of, that I genuinely think is leaving a positive impact on its viewers. Like there's not much more that I could ask for. What I um, would like to highlight about Tiger's Apprentice, one of the themes is the theme of, look, nobody is ever really alone. Um, I don't come from North America. I come from Asia where community and family, we live in each other's pockets. And mm -hmm. uh, we I come from a very small country. And within 10 minutes, my best friend can meet me down the road for a cup of coffee if I'm not having a good time. Um, with one phone call, my brother will be at my home helping me to do something. Thing. And and this is the way that we live, and many families live like that in Asia. Here in North America, I think geographically, people are very far away from their many people, many young people are very far away from their families. Um, they've had to. They I do feel a sense of aloneness sometimes, and things being mm. overwhelming, especially in such a um, a great and well-oiled machinery that is the entertainment industry here in North America. And my message really is, no, you don't feel that you're alone. You're not alone. And, and one, you've got yourself. And two, if you look hard enough, you've got a whole bunch of people out there who are good people. Just practice the lens to choose good people. And, and you're going to be okay. And I think that is the journey that Tom goes through. And even, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was just about to give a spoiler and I'm not going to give a spoiler because today <laughs> is the launch day. But yes, you're not alone. You're not alone. 